Good morning, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, beautiful souls. The energy is beautiful, it's very high. I thought I'd come live and share this beautiful energy with you all before I come uh, and speak to you about Eagle Spirit and connecting with Horace and my team to bring in some beautiful messages. As I connect now with the sun and the great central sun, I also connect with Jupiter, the very source and energy of Eagle Spirit, to Orion Nebula. Ah, and I bring in the energy of Horus, my beloved Horus and my team of guides as we are connecting now, bringing you this beautiful energy of love, light and healing. As I connect now with Horus and my team and I connect with the energy of Eagle Spirit, we bring forth this beautiful energy of light coming in from the highest heavens. I connect now with the gold, golden lodge of the God Star Sirius, bringing in this divine light and healing. I connect now with Jupiter. Jupiter, the very essence of e the Eagle Spirit, connecting to the 69 moons of Jupiter. Uh, I also connect now with the Orion, as I connect now with the Orion Nebula, 42 Messier Nebula Orion, and the Galactic Center, I bring forth this beautiful energy of light to you all. Uh, As I connect now with Horus's galactic self, Savi Orion, and my galactic self, Sopdet of Sirius, we bring forth this energy of light and of love and of healing. And as I'm now connecting I'm going to now start bringing through messages of of the eagle spirit and as I connect now I connect now with Horus who's going to bring through these beautiful messages as it came to pass the eagle flew high up in the sky the eagle is the divine messenger, the divine messenger of the heavens, bringing forth this energy, love, light and healing. As we connect high into the sky, we bring forth this beautiful energy. We bring forth love, healing and peace. The messages are pure. The messages are simple. The messages are of divine wisdom. The eagle transcends time and space. It's not confined to a cage or a box. It is free. And as this freedom is experienced, it brings through the messages that are timeless. The messages are timeless, they are sacred, they are not confined to a religion, culture or race. They are there to serve the whole, they are there to serve humanity. The or origin of placing such a high esteem on eagle feathers 
was told in an old Native American folklore that records how the birds met one day to decide once and for all which could fly the highest. Some flew very swiftly but soon came became tired but the eagle flew and the eagle flew beyond them all. It flew right up into the clouds and it was very calm and it emerged from the highest place so the eagle has the ability to fly up the highest and the eagle when the eagle transcends and connects to the sun the eagle has the ability to transform and that transformation process becomes the phoenix the phoenix is also an emanation of the eagle there are many birds that have many symbols in time and space there are many other birds that serve a sacred journey alongside the eagle such as the raven and the crow but the eagle the hawk the falcon all serve serve as metaphors of divine messengers so when Horus has actually come through he embodies the, the the eagle, the falcon, the hawk, and he's done that throughout his indigenous lifetimes of ancient Egypt, of ancient lands such as Maya, and also he's uh, served as an eagle spirit in in Native American culture. Horace tends to like to use grey because grey is very neutral um, in Egypt he served he served as a jackal headed uh, deity by the name of Weporet similar very similar to Anubis but his name was Weporet and he was grey and the reason for him to be being grey it neutralized both dark and light and black and white in in uh, native in native america he actually he actually incarnated as gray eagle so it brings in the energy of dark light black white because he embodies the neutral point and it's what we are being called to do this is the true nature of eagle spirit is being there at neutral point many native americans use eagle feathers um, and they will give so many feathers for each achievement so they will wear the eagle feathers as their garment whether it be one or two or three on their on their on their head or as in a war bonnet uh, and often or not a chief will be adorned with eagle feathers because an eagle feather symbolizes achievement i also want to um okay they want to speak a little bit about the other birds okay so i'm going to talk about other birds uh notably the raven um raven spirit comes in as a divine divine messenger we have both black and white ravens and they have served the temples of ancient times 
they symbolize priest and priestess they also symbolize um the teachers of the temples and the connection to the spirit world and to the unseen the white raven served as a symbol of the solar deity and the oracle of delphi uh the oracle of delphi was the trance medium of of the emanations of horus or in back in ancient greece so the trance medium serving his emanations like apollo in delphi for example was very connected to the white raven i'm going to say i have been connected in past life to the white raven serving and being in service to him not only as his trans medium but as his twin flame incarnate so um the white raven has is very symbolic it is known um it is known uh, and i'm going to confirm this that um during the great floods um noah actually sent out the white raven so again noah is an emanation of horus so he actually sent sent out the white raven it is the white raven is connected to the sun and to the solar the black ravens are connected uh very much to the priests and priestesses i also want to connect now with odin and his ravens um again um connecting with different different myth mythologies they have great symbology so they are the messengers so odin would send out his two ravens um crows again crows are very symbolic um to the unseen they they are often um would give the message out um of of whether the the place is sacred um they also are symbolizing um i'm going to say death and beginning death and beginnings so death and life rebirth and stuff like that so endings and beginnings they symbolize i'm going to also speak about the owl spirit the owl spirit symbolizes great wisdom often the goddess will be seen with an owl notably a white owl but it can be any color owl that the owl decides to present but the white owl is the most prominent one um and the white owl symbolizes the wisdom and purity and the purity of the message so so birds coming through um are very very powerful messengers indeed i'm going to um also come back to uh to the eagles again <sighs> because eagles have different 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 meanings but i'm going to um come back to the eagle eagle and again um the eagle symbolizes um spirit healing and creation the eagle is the symbol of seneth um it is a great reminder of your own ability to soar above great heights eagles are the messengers from the heavens and is the embodiment of the spirit of the sun those with an eagle totem meaning a uh, totem meaning spirit guide 
animal spirit guide will need to have will often have an involvement in the creation or creative forces they will be willing to experience the extremes so when I'm saying the extremes they will be shamans in their own right to actually embody and take the title of, of eagle within your name or in your title or even as a totem you will be a shaman you will be a shaman to the unseen you will you will be given the messages of spirit and you will be also be connecting as a medicine man or a medicine woman and you will be using that ability to the highest accord even if that means you getting scorched because you fly high and you will get scorched and you're not in fear of being scorched what does Horace mean by saying scorched well it means that you're not going to be afraid of speaking the truth often people speaking the truth because that's the divine message the divine message is always of truth may not always be mis may not always be understood by the folk on the ground and that means higher wisdom higher truths because we are entering a stage of higher truths so they're not afraid to be willing to seek out your true emotions often or not the eagle spirit is a hayoka so basically you've got an eagle spirit who's not afraid to fly high up in the sky and to come down to the ground and as it falls down into the ground and it comes down into the ground or, on, or gliding on the water it's not afraid of its own shadows its four toed feet remind you to stay grounded so it will remind you as far as fly, high as it can fly it will also remind you the importance of being grounded and centered and its talons remind you to grasp to the things of the earth as well and it's important to be connected to the earth and to people around you so it, it the the eagle spirit is also a symbol of divine balance and neutrality to be in divine balance and neutrality you'd be flying up in the sky and you're able to come back down again and as a medium and I'm going to say this as a medium and I know quite a few of us will experience this when we're reading for our clients we go up and down up and down like this especially if we're multifaceted and we are connecting with spirits we go to the cash and we are channeling or connecting with our spirit guides and we come back down again and it's like we are traveling up and down and even crossing souls over here so we are up and down the dimensions and the frequencies we are multifaceted because working with the eagle spirit this is how we work up and down and we are not afraid to be connecting with different frequencies 
because we are tuned very quickly to the different energies. So then we have its sharp beak. And its sharp beak reminds you and shows you when and how to speak. It is a communicator of the sorts. And it also gives strength in your communication. There's no beating around the bush when you were operating in Eagle Spirit. So I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to um, finish now with a dedication to my beloved Horus, who embodies all aspects of bird spirit through time and space. Um, Horus, I'm going to say Horus as a falcon. Horus as three hawk in Maya, Mayan. Horus as, I'm going to say the ibis actually, the ibis. Ah, oh, right, the ibis is very much connected to water. But the ibis is very, very connected to wisdom. It is a wisdom keeper. So Horus as Toth. I'm also going to say Horus as Grey Eagle. I'm going to now, I'm now going to now finish off to a dedication that I wrote to him. Horus, Lord of the Day. Behold of the sun and moon, great falcon teacher of the ways of the law and victory. Teach me, O creator of the ways, to walk the path of the light, to be triumphant in flight and of the dawn. Horus is the very aspect of the sun through time and space. Horus chose his name in this timeline for me to use as his working title for his spirit coming through. Horus means horizon. The sun is on the horizon. So the sun being on the horizon, it can see into the heavens and it's, it can see into the earth at the same time. He's sitting on the horizon and being on the horizon he is at neutral point being at neutral point there's no right there's no wrong there's no light there's no dark we are embodying the whole in great balance Horus is the divine balance so Horus Heru Horus means the sun is sitting at the horizon so he's in balance of north and south and east and west and that's the reason why he has chosen that name for me for us to work with and there's a lot of symbology that comes through because I'm born Leo and I'm 42 stroke 6 life path. 42 is the 42 Netta of Egypt and the 42 Messiah Nebula Orion. I embody Leo, the age of Leo from which Egypt first began, the golden age of Egypt after the fall of Atlantis. So yes, that's me, that's who I embody, I am his twin flame incarnate and I'm actually his trans medium. So there's a lot of stuff that I can, I can write and I can speak all day about um, the great metaphors because as we see it, we're shamans. Um, that's how we are in, back in Egypt, we served as great shamans. So, 
in humility this is how we are we're in humility so working shamanically we are gliding up and down gliding up and down and this is how we are have we have taught shamanism right from the beginning how to connect with all different frequencies and dimensions and to travel through the creative ways as a shaman so i often like to reflect back on ancient egypt uh, uh, from the viewpoint of indigenous rather than being a deity um, because it's the the indigenous is where we connect with the uh, frequencies we actually connect with mother earth we connect uh, with cosmos and so forth we bring through great teachings we bring through great wisdom we are crossing souls over as well making sure that souls are transitioning as they should so this is the whole purpose of uh, shamanism and uh, mediumship and so forth and i wanted to sort of share a little bit today about the eagle spirit because the eagle spirit is very symbolic um of the how we work as shamans um certainly through time and timeless so i i want to say thank you very much uh and thank you very much for listening to me this evening I wish you all a wonderful evening. Um, it's evening here in the UK. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you.